Actually, no, I'm not because we have something on our ship, so... I just go... God, will I be able to cut anytime soon, please? As something also does happen on your map that I need to show off. Looks like we have a bee on board. Keep it away from me, I'm allergic. If I get stung, I'll swell up. Well, you're already a fat ass, so I don't think that's possible. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna just meet you guys back at the, um... Honey Bloom Galaxy, cause... Oh, no, not Honey Bloom, that's what it's called, Super Galaxy 1. You know what I mean! See you guys in a minute. Okay, I'm back now. We just arrived at the galaxy, I just kinda cut out that whole little entrance thing. So now I'm gonna kinda just speed through this, cause this really isn't a hard galaxy, although we do get a... pretty cool reference to an enemy that... is a pain in the butt in the RPGs, but he's quite fun in... the 2D games for some reason, I don't know why. I guess because I just really like that. Okay, B Mario, yeah, we already know who he is. Hey. Okay. Actually, it's, this is kind of a. This is probably one of the most annoying levels to get the uh, green stars in, from what I remember. Comic Coin is right up ahead. You can see it right there. I hate these enemies. I honestly don't know if there's a way to kill them or not. By the way, if you get hit, you will continue to fall! That's one of the examples I was talking about. You keep falling till you freaking get up. I'm sorry, but it's like Mario can't regain consciousness when he. Oh my God, seriously. I think one. Of the, I think without a doubt the worst star in Super Mario Galaxy history is the. Besides the perfect run, is probably the level where you have to get the five silver stars and um. In Super Mario Galaxy One, and yeah, I know I was gonna get hit on that, but I honestly didn't care because I just wanted to get through that. I'm really being impatient. That's why Mario's gonna die if I'm not careful. Come on. Okay, let's go. I actually don't know if it's if you get more height by tapping the A button. Repeat it. Oh no, I'm gonna just wait. I'm not gonna risk that. Okay, let's go. All right. So that, and we just want to slide down there. Actually, the. I really, really hate the freaking green star that's in this part. I remember it because I really hated that part. Uh, if you come up here, you can uh, activate this to get some coins, and if you get all of them, you get a one-up, and honestly, I just don't care right now. It's kind of amazing how much they just hand out one-ups like candy, while in the older games, it was freaking impossible to get one. Most of the time, anyway. I think they started being able to abuse it in uh, Super Mario World. As long as you went to the top secret area. Now, I am going to get hit by this enemy just because I, I want to lose the power up. Because I can travel a lot faster without it, see? And you can jump, and I know I can jump over the enemies. In fact, I'm pretty sure I can finish. Uh, hold on. Just want to head back here. Do this. It's okay if you don't have the B power up. They do uh, save you. And I know there's star bits back there, but I, again, don't care. I'm just trying to get them right now because I don't have anything better to do. It's okay, you'll fall, but you'll get a B, you know, a B power up right there. And we're near the end of level. Kind of cool how they do this little playhouse little thing going on. Don't know why, it kind of reminds me of a little big planet. I also don't know why, but I'm kind of getting nostalgic beatings from a Playhouse Disney as a kid. I don't know why. I guess it's just that this thing looks like a box and it makes me think of whatever that old show was, like inside or outside of the box. I forget. I just remember me and my brother used to watch the hell out of that as kids. <laughs> that was back when I was in kindergarten. That was like over 16, not 16 years ago. Holy crap, no. There's that, so now we're done with Honey Bloom Galaxy for a little while. Yeah, uh, no we're not, we're done with it completely then. For this playthrough anyway, until you get the green comet stars. Uh, it's not really a problem, and yeah I know Toad has mail, but unless it's something important he'll call us. I'm gonna go ahead and activate this so that way I can get all that taken care of. So now I'll be able to path to the thing, and there you go. So now we can go fight Bowser, but instead we're gonna go take on Wild Galactic Galaxy, something introduced to this game that 
I will say this game, this level, kind of probably has without a doubt the bit the most beautiful graphics in the game. Slazard's first flight. I actually have a funny story to tell about this level. Um, when I was getting the green stars, I can't remember if it was this Flutter level or if it was the other one. But, like, basically, I was over with my grandparents playing this game. And I went outside with the Wii Remote still on. And I didn't think Mario was going to go anywhere because, um... Well, then again, I guess I forgot I had the game on or something. I don't know exactly what happened. But, basically, um... What happened was, is, uh... Don't This thing is easy to control, don't worry. Um... But basically, I was at least two rooms outside of the wall. Uh, I mean, outside of the room that the Wii was in. But, um, I could still feel it vibrating. I didn't know what was going on. So when I went back into the room, apparently Mario and the Fluzzer were still flying and he kept getting killed. Oh, yeah. Nose dive. Yeah, I will abuse this, by the way. I'm actually really good at doing nose dives. Also, has without that one of my favorite songs in the soundtrack. Two, one. Also, getting the green stars here are really pain in the butt. Although, you do want to hit um, these little things right here. You'll see, I think there's five of them all in all in the level. I'm really tempted to shut up to listen to this music, because it's really good. Again, Koji Kondo really outdid himself with the soundtrack in this game. By the way, don't run into something straight on, or else more than likely you will die. Now, there are actually three levels of this game gameplay mecha uh, mechanic. And I will say probably the worst one is the um, one where it's like in a factory. I don't know, is there three or two? I can't remember exactly. Um, okay, right there's the fourth one. I know where the fifth one is. So once we hit this one, the fifth one's really a piece of cake. And to get the comic coins, really just a matter of doing that. And really beating the time trial for this is not really hard. Okay, yeah, as you can tell, I'm kind of pointing the... I'm kind of doing a nose dive. Now, you can actually go at a 90-degree angle. It's not recommended, but you get a ton, you gain a ton of speed if you do. I recommend at least, like, a 30... No, not a 30. No, that's ridiculous. Okay, again, be careful. Okay, you gotta hit this. Got it, and... Beat the time. Now, I point straight down. You flew, you flew, even Fluzzard looks happy. Really? He looks the same to me. And there's that. Definitely one of the more unique galaxies in the game. I'm still trying to remember if there's three or two Fluzzard levels. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Huh? What did that say? No, we're not done with that galaxy yet. We actually have a race we're going to do that later. Now for Cosmic Cove Galaxy. Another really beautiful piece of music in this. Um, which actually, what's kind of funny is in, uh, Pigment in Chugga Conroy's Pigman 2 Let's Play, he did use the... Um, song for this level uh, in a little speed up section okay now I don't remember for sure if there's a hidden galaxy here or not but I am gonna keep my eyes open for coins just in case uh, so let's just kinda oh yeah just like in the last game you can use these uh, you can use the uh, Koopa shells to um, swim which I always hear people complain about the swimming controls in Galaxy games. Really, I don't find it atrocious at all. I've, it's nowhere near as good as Spyro 2, I will say that. But I mean, I don't find it really all that bad. Because I love doing this. Just pretty much go straight up. And Mario floats in the air like that. Well, not really floats in the air. Okay, hold on. I'm going to send that flying for a second and see if I can find this. Yes, there is a hidden star here. I, um, I think... I know what I'm thinking of, because I know it's in this level, but I can't remember if that's because of the Hidden Galaxy or if it's because of the other thing. I'm actually going to hit one of these cheap cheeps to find out. Come on. Get up. I will say, that that's something I know in every Mario game I've played, is um, getting out of the water. Okay, go. If I get out of the water, I always have a hard time doing it. I always have to press down on the control stick and press A like a maniac, because I can get out of the water. 
I mean, it's in every Mario game I've ever played. Well, not really, not the 2D ones, but like Super Mario 64 is also a a, uh, a culprit of that. Just don't get hit by these things. Watch out for the blowfish. Now, the comet coin here actually took me a little bit to find because it's in a really hidden spot. Because you guys probably saw it right over here. There's nothing in there, but you know, <laughs> I love the parking brake thing that they do right there. Okay, turn the camera a little bit. Okay, pause. There we go. Um, let's see. I'm trying to think of any other places. I think you need 15 coins. Okay. No, get... Oh my god, let that go. I hate letting go of my Koopa shell, because it's like the only way I will swim. I hate swimming normally in this game. Alright, well... Let's see, we need to find that launch star. There it is. You spin, you go a little bit faster. But once you do that, you get a lot of those. Okay, let's see, how many coins do we need? No, come on, turn around. Spin the Wii Remote if you're having trouble. Talk to him! Thank you. Okay, good. 15 coins exact. Wow, that was completely luck. 